Hey guys, welcome to AI with AI. In last video, we understood what is machine learning. Now, let's understand what are the types of machine learning. So, stay tuned, watch this video till the end and uh, let's get started then. What are the types of machine learning? Machine learning is categorized into three types. The type one is supervised learning. Type two is unsupervised learning. And type three is reinforcement learning. So let's understand these types of machine learning one by one in detail. As you can see in the image, in supervised learning, we provide a training data to the machine learning algorithm so this machine learning algorithm will create a model will form a model based on the data it looks inside the data find out the pattern recognizes the feature right based on that the model will be created so once the model is ready now you can provide a new data to this model right and based on the learning it will give you the output it will give you the predictions in the future it sounds same like we human learn right whenever we look at the object for a first time we try to understand that object we look for the features of that object we look at the shape we look at the color we look at the area the surface we try to gain as many features as we can and uh, in future Whenever we see a similar type of a object, we'll able to recognize that object. So same way in machine learning, machine learning looks at the data, the predictive model will be created. And this predictive model can give you the feature predictions given the new data to the model. The supervised learning is again divided into the two parts that is regression and the classification. Let's understand regression in detail. Assume that we want to predict the prices of a house. Given some prices of the houses before, say 500 square foot houses for $50,000 and 1000 square foot houses for $100,000. Then given this data, can you tell me how much the 750 square foot of a house would cost? Right? So this is one of the regression example. So what do you understand in regression algorithm is you need to find the actual value given some new data, right? So the question here is if the house size is 750 square feet, then what is the cost of the house, right? So the size of the house is given what will be the cost of the house that needs to be predicted. We are expecting the continuous value. We are expecting the actual value. So whenever you expect the perfect actual value, the continuous value, that stands for regression problem. Same way then what is classification stands for? Classification is again the second type under the supervised learning. Let's understand what is classification in detail. In classification, we are interested in finding the classes and not the continuous values. We are not asking for an actual value like size of the house whereas in classification we are interested in find the classes so if we have given a data of a tumor sizes say harmless and harmful tumors and we have plotted this data like this on the x and y axis right so by looking at the data we are just expected to find the classes whether the tumor is harmless or whether the tumor is harmful and this is not expected to find the actual value the expected here is to find the classes yes or no right and not the actual value uh, if i say temperature is 27 degrees celsius i'm giving the actual value here 27 degrees celsius 28 degrees celsius yes i'm talking about the continuous values 27 28 29 30 i'm talking about the actual value so if you want to predict the actual continuous value, then that is regression. And now if I say that temperature is high, low, moderate, 
right so i'm talking about the classes and not the actual values i'm saying temperature is high low moderate right so these are the classes these are not the actual values then it is classification now let's understand what is unsupervised learning then in unsupervised learning the right answers will not be given to you the data will not be labeled you will not get the output you will not get the outcome of the data the data is given without any labels what algorithm will do now algorithm needs to look into the data identify the features extract the features and then come up with some clusters come up with some patterns right here the model will not apply the labels on the data like it will not say that this tumor is harmless or this tumor is harmful it can only form the clusters based on the pattern recognition as you can see in the image the data sets is given so by looking at the data what do you think so this data is not labeled right so now we are not saying that these tumors are harmless and these tumors are harmful right so the data looks plain to us but can we form the clusters here can we divide the data into the segments here right as we are also recognizing some patterns under this we are also looking for some features inside the data same way machine also looks for a features and the patterns inside the data and forms a clusters based on the learning like this so suppose we have our own startup and uh, there are 100 employees working in our startup and uh, what we want to do is we want to distribute gifts to the employees in the last year say we have only given a one type of gift to the all the employees say a book distributed among all the employees right but recently we took a survey we took a feedback from the employees asking them did they like the gift or no or any suggestions if they had by looking at the survey what we understood is some people like reading books some people like online shopping some people like going to a movie so we came to know the classes out of liking of the people right some people like reading books some people like doing online shopping some people like say watching movies so we got three clusters among all the employees so by looking into the survey by looking at the feedback i have created three clusters three types of employees and distributed a gift this year based on the clusters that's how the clustering works second type of unsupervised learning algorithm is a dimensionality reduction in this technique what we do is rather than clustering the data or rather than finding the anomaly in the data what we do is we reduce the dimensions of the data and why do we reduce the dimensions of the data because to find the patterns more accurately there could be some situations the data which you may get is in the n dimensions so the data which you get in the tabular format and the data which you get say 100 columns are there and 100 columns means 100 dimensions and imagining 100 dimensional data is really difficult you cannot imagine that data right so in that situation sometimes it is always better to reduce the dimensions cut down some of the columns and look for the patterns if you can able to recognize after reducing the dimensions or no so this is one of the technique which will help us to do the feature engineering and uh, reduce the dimensions find out the patterns and increase the accuracy of our model don't worry if you don't understand because this is just the overview of the types of algorithm that we are studying going forward i'll be talking about these algorithms and uh, these techniques in detail and the third type of machine learning algorithm is a reinforcement learning reinforcement learning is depend on the environment as environment changes the output also changes you can imagine uh, any game say a chess so in chess there are millions of placements that are possible right but depending on the environment depending on the player move you have to decide what move you have to take right so as the environment changes the output changes autonomous car is a very good example of reinforcement learning because every time car moves on the road there are n number of situations there are different different situations every time that may occur while moving on the road right 
So depending on the environment, that car has to take the decision whether it has to accelerate, whether it has to press the brake, whether it has to stop. In reinforcement learning, there is something called agent. So this agent is rewarded or get penalized depending on the feedback given by the environment. So if model takes the right decision, then it will be rewarded. And if it takes the wrong decision, then it will be penalized. So depending on the feedback, depending on the reward that it is getting, it tries to improve on itself. That's what reinforcement learning stands for. All right, just to summarize, what we have seen is what is machine learning and the types of machine learning. So there are three types of machine learning that is supervised learning, unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning. Again in supervised learning, we have two types that is regression and classification. Unsupervised learning is again divided into the three types of algorithm. First is clustering, second is anomaly detection and the third is the dimensionality reduction and the third main type of machine learning algorithm that we have discussed is the reinforcement learning that's it for now in this video tell me in the comments which all algorithms that you want to study more or any other algorithm that i have missed out that you want to study more tell me that in the comment thank you make sure you like and subscribe my videos see you in the next video Bye.